Hi everybody. Welcome to Saturday, dude. I thought I had set this to start at 10 after, but I guess I did five after. So I hope you enjoyed your five minutes of special alone time. I am sitting in front of some stuff that I just got. So uh, I'm gonna open that up. In here, I got a couple of 10 ounce Scottsdale stackers. In here, I got 100 ounces of something from SD Bullion. I got 50 ounces of some rounds from Provident Metal. I already melted 40 of them, but they're kind of cool, so I saved 10 and I'll show you those. And then I've got uh, some projects I'll be doing this weekend since Mrs. Silver is out of town. I've got to sort my silver dollars, put all the, kind of sort them by condition. And uh, I didn't run a sales video this week because with all the partying and then dealing with the cops, since Mrs. Silver is gone, it's been kind of busy. But I do have some pretty cool stuff. I might share a video of some of it tomorrow, but I'll give you a look at a couple of them. Like, uh, this one is super gorgeous, dude. Love that. Anyway, we'll dig into this right there in a minute. Go ahead and uh, let me know you're here. Oh, Mellow Stacker, number one comment. Dude, it's great to see you. How's your Saturday going, bud? I think it's Saturday. Yeah, it is. It's uh, been kind of hottish here in the Pacific Northwest, but we're used to that in July. Um, not too bad. A little over cloudy, so it's hot and kind of humid, but we go there. All right, just got out of work. That's cool, man. You should always do everything you can to get out of work. Ha <laughs> ha. Little Silver always makes a Saturday better. Dudes, I hope you, dang, sorry, I was just distracted. We got some uh, hummingbirds. I can't turn the camera over there, but they're having a little bit of a battle out there. Love it. Oh, Silver Scout is on the couch. I can't turn the camera that way yet, but perhaps she'll make an appearance today. Oh, well, I already opened the stuff up. Um, the SD Bullion, you know, I like buying from them off eBay. They, um, they ship by FedEx usually or UPS when you buy a large order of a hundred ounces or more. And it does take longer, which I don't like, but, uh, usually they send good stuff. So I don't know what's in that. I know they're new and I know there's a hundred of them. Um, we'll see. Sometimes they send me some nice rounds. I feel bad melting, but these are business rounds. This is personal. I used some of my eBay bucks back, combine that with a, uh, with a nice special from Scottsdale Mint. So even though I had reached my goal of 10 of these 10 ounce stackers I went ahead and grabbed a couple more I tend to do that yeah mellow stacker I, you know and I hate watching it because the tracking I can uh, sit there and see my other orders making their way across the country quickly and then I watch the orders from them and it's just you know it'll sit somewhere for a couple of days and uh, I don't like that but, you know, you gotta, gotta do what the price suggests you do. And it's usually just uh, about two days longer than other sellers. So um, as long as I always have something in the pipeline, um, it works out fine. Oh, so let's get in and let's see just what SD Bullion sent. I'm going to change the angle here.
Boom. <coughs> do uh, Melostacker, do they send, even when they're so close to you, do they send by uh, FedEx or UPS? Is that why it's taken longer? Or do they just have a slower shipping and handling process than uh, maybe some of the others do. USPS, huh, that's weird. I would prefer, I actually like uh, United States Postal Service, best of all, I know some people have their issues with them, but both receiving and sending just hundreds and hundreds of packages, I've had very few, if any, issues. So I'm always happy about that. So let's, uh, let's look first at what's left from a Provident order. These were cool. These were in the secondary market uh, where it's just, you know, you buy one ounce of silver. And uh, they had a good deal on these. So I bought 50 ounces of them. Yeah, Mellow Stacker, I'm sure that uh, I, I, it's gotta be they have just a little bit longer uh, shipping and handling process than some of the other dealers do. Um, because if you're getting them a couple days later than you would expect from USPS, and the same's happening to me with FedEx and UPS, that's, uh, that's just the way it is. It's not extreme, and, uh, you know, it's hard to complain. Modern day, we get so used to having what we want right now. Uh, nothing wrong with waiting just a little bit. So if you are out there, say hello, dudes. I see some of you there. You don't want to leave Mellow Stacker uh, holding up the chat on his own. I sure do appreciate it, though, bud. So these came in from Provident. I ordered 50 ounces. Um, normally, I do 100-ounce orders, um, but it was an in any quantity price, and I wasn't sure where uh, spot price was going. So I wanted to, I needed some silver to melt because I was out. And uh, so I needed some, but I wanted to hold off. And that's when I made the SD bullion order. Um, when I was a little more sure what was going to happen short term on the silver spot price. So when these came, I wasn't sure what they were. And I always like that. Sometimes you'll get old vintagey type stuff. And sometimes you'll get all the same and they'll be new. These, I always check the bottoms, can't really see there, but these, uh, these all were the same, so no variety in that order, but uh, these are kind of cool. I melted the first 40 of them, and uh, to be honest, they did not melt all that well, so I, uh, I have ways of handling that when, uh, they're not melting really clean. I can, uh, it's not technically refining, but I can uh, eliminate some of those surface impurities that um, they polish off and they don't remain on the silver when I sell it. But I'm a real stickler for uh, that top surface just being as close to perfect as I can get it. So these came in and they're pretty cool, dudes. Let's, um, let's see, I hadn't had these before. Over the years of stacking, I've had almost everything that exists. Um, uh, Mellow Stacker, I read uh, What Silver Puts the Best. Is that, did you mean melts the best? I'm not sure what you meant there. Um, if you meant What Silver Pours, okay, yeah. Um, you know, it's hard to say consistently sunshine minting rounds pour really nicely. Um, some of the best pouring stuff were these 2013 Apmex flag rounds that I got. Those are just uh, 
a real clean pour and for some reason I can get that uh, really nice sunbursty effect with those. So those were good. Um, huh. Obviously the silver is silver, but in that last cleaning process, there's always going to be some sort of uh, substance or chemical used in their processing. And sometimes some companies provide a cleaner product than others, especially when you're doing secondary stuff. But uh, Sunshine Minting melts really well. RMC rounds tend to melt well. Old OPM rounds melt well. And when I say meant well, what I'm talking about is just uh, they, they provide a nice clean surface uh, in the final cooling. So if you're doing with a torch, uh, it really doesn't make much difference because the torch draws any of those final impurities to the hottest point in the melt. Um, but I do a lot of my stuff torchless. Um, in fact, almost all my stuff is done without a torch. So it's, it's important to me that I get a, a final melting surface or a cooling surface that's unblemished if I can. So these are cool, dude. They're um, something that I haven't had. Like I said, over the years, I've had a lot of stuff come through the High Host Silver mailbox. But these are pretty cool. See if you can see, they're 2016s, and that's a Pegasus there, and uh, the letters are on the face here are spread out, but they say Freedom, so that's a 26 Freedom round. Yeah, the Buffalo Mellow Stack, or the Buffalo, it all depends, dude, because everybody makes them, and uh, it just depends. Uh, I'll get one order, and then the next order is the same place same people and they'll melt great so one of those things it's hard to predict so these are from the ag gold smith or uh, gold silver sorry dot com and uh pretty cool round there that top side what does that say uh, yeah, Silvertown Buffalo's Mellow Stacker. I, um, to be honest, I've never melt. I've probably melted five or six hundred ounces of those, and I've never once been happy with uh, the Silvertown remelt. Um, so yeah, maybe there's something in that. They use a process they've been using for a long time, and I don't think they've done much updating to it. So maybe that's just the way it is. So that's a pretty cool looking round. That's why I saved it aside to show you. My eyes, and I don't have my glasses on, but I don't know, can you read what that says there in those little banners? Here? No. Can't read it, dudes. Sorry. But those are cool rounds, and I got 50 of those. Free markets and free people, it says they're up on the top. Pretty cool design. Not sure on the mint, but uh, they are going away. Last 10 of them all uh, I'll melt today. I sold out of uh, a couple of my 10 ounce cast things, so I'll turn those into one of those. And then I got 100 ounces of these here, and uh, we'll open those up and see what those are. Um, and then, like I said, I got a couple more of these Scottsdale 10 ounces. So let's clear the road a little bit. These I expect are going to be all the same. Let's see on the bottom here. Well, can't get a peek, so we'll have to open it up. Let's see if I can do it without cutting my finger off. I need those. So 100 ounces of these from SD Bullion. Uh, come on, hi-ho. I guess I didn't get it cut.
And these I'm waiting on. I ordered a replacement furnace. I need to send one of mine in to repair. Oh, same. This is what they've sent me the last few times. It's a nice looking round. It's the uh, Liberty and Freedom SD bullion. Um, the order off of eBay said they could send, you know, whatever. Um, from other companies, but this is what they've been sending me lately. And to be honest, sometimes these melt great and sometimes they don't. Uh, so we will see. But it's a nice looking round. Obviously they don't make them so people can melt them. Probably is a, a bummer for them sometimes, but uh, let's take a look at that. It's a nicely done round. It's got a good design on it. Doctor Who, hi ho, dude. It's good to see you, man. I'm sure Mellow Stacker is going to enjoy having somebody who's uh, talking to himself, and I do appreciate that. I do like this round. Silver Mac, dude, welcome, brother. I'm going through some stuff that, uh, boom, I'm gonna melt. This is 100 ounces that I uh, got in yesterday from SD Bullion. Those are a cool round. I do like them. Uh, when I'm melting these, I get that same kind of deal where um, I'm such a stickler for the top surface, especially when I'm doing torchless, that uh, I don't like any impurity type stuff in that final thing at all. Luis Sacida, welcome dude. How come I'm not melting shot and how come I'm melting these? Um, I haven't explained. Mellow Stacker says he ordered 20 random from Monument and they sent OPM. Um, I don't have any problem melting the OPM round. Some people say, oh, the company's out of business. So they're, you know, they made so many of those dang things. I can't imagine they're ever gonna have any value beyond just what they are generic, but uh, I've had decent luck with melting those, brother. So, Luis, you asked about how come I'm not doing shot. I am. I do that for my casting things quite often. I've got, uh, I'm down to about my last about 40 ounces of um, shot from AppMex. That's my best, uh, my best supplier right now. I buy 100 ounces at a time. If I were to increase that to 1,000 ounces, I could probably do a, a more direct contract with somebody. But I don't like to keep an inventory. It's just a small business. Um, the reason I pour these is because I pour whatever I can get cheapest. Um, I try to make really beautiful silver and it needs to be worth a moderate premium um, so it's worth my time and a lot of my business model is getting the silver uh, that I melt at a cheap price at spot or as close to it as I can um, so that the work that I put into it is worth it. So sometimes I can get those cheaper. That's the best reason. And also, Luis, I've done a comparison. Sometimes you're gonna get better results with shot. Sometimes you'll get better with rounds. It's really not as predictable as some people think. The price on shot is more. So it's counterintuitive. You would think that when you're buying just this, uh, this little beaded product, you might get it for cheaper, but nope. So this will cost me as much as a dollar more per ounce, and uh, that just comes right straight off of any profit I might make. Um, half the time, these companies are just taking excess of these and turning them into these, so they actually have manufacturing um, costs related to this. All right, well, let's assume that all of these are the same. Um, 
a hundred of these SD bullion rounds. Um, Doctor Who, I do both. <clears throat> I don't pour with a torch. Everything I do is in a casting furnace, one of two types. Hi, Silver Steeler. Thanks for joining us, bud. Um, so I pour my odd weight series things out of one particular furnace, and then I do my casting in a tabletop uh, front door furnace. Um, but I don't hardly ever use a torch, regardless of how I do. Um, you can use the torch to get certain effects. I'm not going to take this one out of the bag, but this is a good example of what I was talking about with a clean pour. So this was done, uh, this one was done torchless. They're almost all done torchless. But you can see this right here in the center of these, I call my hourglass lines. That's what I mean when it doesn't cool clean sometimes. And so the top surface, thanks Luis, I do like it, it's fun. Um, I, I'll go ahead and take it out of the bag, why not? So in that final cooling, a torch is going to draw whatever's left to the hottest point. You see right there in the center of each of those final cooling pools. So when I pour torchless, like this one, which is almost all the time, I'd say 95% or more of my pours are torchless. Um, you know, as I'm looking at this, I think I may have done a nice gentle torch with this one. Either way, I live where it's the cheapest electricity in the country. Um, so my model went to electric uh, heating as fast as I could get there, man. Thanks, Silver Steeler. Um, might as well, since I got my glove on, take a look at some of these things that I have available. This is not a sales video, but there's always stuff available. I should have left a link for you here, but um, go to any of my Bunker Bullion sales videos, and there's a link to purchase any of this. This one is already sold. It sold real quick. Love it. Nice fatty. Dang dudes. Chunky city. Love that. Boom. Shiny. So that's a big bar. That's again done torchless and you can see right in the center if I had used a torch all of it would have remained there. This one was a pretty nice clean torch. I think I shared a slow-mo video of this being done on uh, my Instagram account. While we're looking at, these are in the big bar size. This one, this one I actually, I shared a video of the pour uh, a couple days ago on my Instagram account. This one is still available. Just go to my last sales video and click that link you'll end up on my uh, little outlet site. This thing is sweet, it's shiny, love it. So this one is available. You could have a bar that you have a video of it being poured. That's always fun. This one's a straight torchless, gotta have a clean pour. I love it. I'm a fan of texture, dudes. I like to take what the silver wants to be and then just get it as good as I can. And I love that texture. Get it shiny, nice. Anyway, so lots of cool stuff available there. I'll show you one more while I've got the glove on and then we'll open up those uh, Scottsdale 10 ounces. So this thing is a beauty also. This is in my flat bar. Hey, Silver Mac, good luck at your LCS, man. I miss being able to go to mine. Um, Silver Dra or Draco's Dragon. I'm glad you stopped in, bud. I missed it as you did. Um, so good luck, Silver Mac. 
Mellow Stacker asked what brand camera. Everything I've ever done on my YouTube stuff is all just using an iPad. It does okay. Look at that. Dude, this stuff is so shiny. Which is one of the things I like. I spend a lot of time on the finishes I do. Philosopher Bees, dude. Thanks for popping in. Did a gold to silver conversion this week. Cool, man. I've been sitting on about 45 or 4,600 ounces of silver, wanting to go the other way with it, but the uh, silver to gold ratio has not been cooperating for me. Good luck on that transaction. Uh, silver Mac, hit those half dollars, dudes. Um, get some of that melt stuff. Silver Steeler picked up 113 Silver Eagles three days ago, dude. Sweet. Um, nice. My, uh, I finished my goals in silver and gold. I still buy a little bit here and there, and I still do some flipping and, and trading. But uh, I finished that about a year ago, and uh, hopefully just coincidentally. Then my LCS went out of business when I stopped adding ounces. So I, uh, in a way, it was good for me, man, because it helped me kick that daily buying addiction. But uh, I missed it, man. It's always fun, and my LCS guy was great to me. He would set stuff aside. He knew I liked old toned vintage stuff, and he always had a one price deal, man. So he would set stuff aside for me that he knew I would like. Check that out. So this one's available. I just finished uh, polish work on this yesterday. Try to get you a good look at that. Uh, I call it micro striations. You can't get this with a torch. I'm 4.3 days high ho before withdrawals. <laughs> yep, I get it, uh, Silver Steeler. This stuff is addicting. So I call that micro striation. You can see it kind of there. And that's just the natural cooling process of the silver. So that's one of the things I'm a fan of, is just really trying to get interesting things. So that's what I call the flat bar. It's a beautiful piece. That one's available. Just go to any old bunker bullion uh, deal. After I'm done doing the live show, I'll put a link to it in here. Dang. Beautiful. If I shaved, I could shave with this. Uh, other than that, I've got some things available, kind of a neat little heart. If I have time, I will uh, maybe share a video tomorrow with some of the things. Thanks, Silver Mac. That is a sweet bar. I love that one. Just finished it yesterday. I got a neat hexagon I finished up. Super deep stamp. Again, with those really nice micro lines. This one was done with a gentle torch. And then I got some nice casts. I'm actually down to my last two of these two ounce uh, bunker babies of the numbered. I numbered the first 25 of them. That one's going out in the mail today. So I got number 24 and number 25 of those left. And then I'll make some more. I probably will only be able to get another maybe 20 or so of those. I'm having trouble finding someone to source that mold for me. Um, Luis says, hi ho, do you still have some five ounce Kit Kats? Yes, I do, dude. I've got five left. Let me bring one down here. These I'm really proud of. Love them. Um, I've got five of the first 13 left. They're so nice. I'd love to send you two, bro. Um, that's number 13. Beautiful. So I got uh, five of those five ounce Kit Kats left and I'll be able to make maybe at most 10 more of those. So the mintage will end up being somewhere around 25 maybe. Um, and then again, I gotta find that mold. Doing this kind of casting is hard on a mold, man. It, it burns them up fast. So Silver so Mac. You got 200 ounces of community pours, bro. Nice. That's great. 
I uh, actually don't have any poured silver from any community members, including myself. Um, as I was transitioning in my stacking, it was right about the same time I started pouring and I sold all my hand poured because it didn't fit into my perma stack plans. So I have just stuck with that. I love supporting all the other pourers with my words and admiration, but I have not stacked any uh, more poured silver myself. So Luis, I'd love to send you two of those. Um, the next two numbers, I think, are number nine and 10 maybe, something like that. Uh, anyway, find the uh, Bunker Bullion videos and there'll be a link to the page and you'll see them about halfway down that page. Um, love to send you those. Anybody else? Those are available. I got other stuff, dudes. We got uh, some nice bars. I have on sale some of these nice cast rounds. I got a couple more Rolos left. Um, those up there are gonna be cool, but I still need a stamp. Um, those are 50 and 100 gram Rolos. This one is sweet, dudes. If anybody wants a nice five ounce cast bar, Luis, you probably want one of these to add to your uh, Kit Kat purchase. <laughs> I'm not gonna take it out of its package. I, I spend so much time putting a, just a beautiful finish on these, man. Once they go in the bag, uh, I like to keep them in the bag. This one's just a beautiful piece. Boom. Silver Mac, I appreciate that offer. Um, please, uh, please send stuff to people who need food and clothes. I definitely appreciate all of that but uh, I like watching people's stuff there are many more deserving folks than I to receive gifts this one's beautiful dude it's got three little bubbles so that's available Cup I only have two more of those bunker babies available those are awesome I have one more mold hey Barachi sweet dude it's good to see you bud Nice. So my stuff is not really for stackers. In general, poured silver is not for stackers. I have uh, become efficient enough that I can uh, do what I do at really a nice, reasonable premium. So it's not prohibitive, but uh, poured silver does have a higher premium. Uh, Verace, I hope Hopefully this afternoon or tomorrow, we'll do an update on my selling silver gold. Hi, Mr. Olfang. Good to see you, bud. Um, I did not sell yet, man. I weathered that first storm as we popped down into the uh, 1380 zone. And, uh, and I'm still sitting on 18 ounces. My plan is still to sell eight. But, you know, I'm... Uh, I don't need the money. I'm just waiting to take some profits, and I think there's still a decent chance we're gonna we're gonna pop back up into the 15 or 1450 plus zone. Uh, silver. I'm waiting to sell my silver and just trade it straight across for some gold. Um, but I gotta get some cooperation with this gold to silver ratio. Um, so Verachi, check this out. I don't know if you've seen it, bro. This I just finished yesterday, I think. That's a nice torchless cold mold. Oh, that's a nice flat bar, bro. 10.68 ounces, super deep stamp. Yeah. Oh, so that's a nice bar there. Mmm. Good stuff, Bunker Bullion. Well, we got one more thing to unbox, man. I got distracted by my own shiny goodness that I forgot. We still gotta do this stuff, dude. So I got uh, two more of some 10 ounce stackers. I melted almost all my other 10 ounce stuff. All I've got left is, got that one. Uh, and I've got all of the 
different sizes in that series. I got a couple of 20 ounce Scottsdales, a 10 ounce Scottsdale, a 15 and a 25 ounce uh, Bison Bullion, a couple of Geiger 10 ounces, and then I have 10 of the Scottsdale Stackers. Um, but I grabbed two more. <laughs> Don't worry, Verace, that uh, that 10 ounce is safe. It survived. <laughs> I converted some of my uh, five and ten ounce. I think only one five ounce bar left out of out of a lot, and I've uh, started moving them into hundred ounce bars. I will share that collection soon. Somebody asked me a question a while ago. Oh, about the gold. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you're still there, Silver Mac. That's neat that your wife is is involved with. Uh, with doing those sorts of, sorts of things. I love, love that. Helping folks out, nothing wrong with that. It's good stuff. All right, so let me find my knife and we'll pop that thing open. Scottsdale had a nice deal and I had about 100 ounces of uh, eBay e-bucks that I needed to spend from this quarter. And uh, they had these at, I think I paid before any of the credit card discount, uh, 330 bucks for two of them. Uh, and then I had $100, $100 of eBay bucks to cash in. So overall, not a bad little ad. I don't, uh, I don't usually use my eBay bucks to buy more silver because uh, I kind of like to cash it in on things as if I'm actually getting it as cash back. So uh, gas cards or grocery cards or something like that's what I usually do. But uh, got two of these for 330 Actually ended up being two of those for 230 because of the eBay bucks, but uh, happy to add those in. That's, that's my favorite 10 ounce product for sure. I love those. Let's take a closer look at them and then I'm gonna wrap this live stream up. Um, if you're wanting some pretty silver, I will put a link in for the Bunker Bullion stuff. This is not a Bunker Bullion video, but um, there's some stuff there. Each piece I have has its own unique video. You can always click on to see what it looks like up close. So check that out. You can uh, find the link if you want to head there right now on any of my older Bunker Bullion videos. Uh, SSG Coin and Silver Collector. Hi. Glad to see you popping in. Um, I have gone through several things, a couple of unboxing things, so I've got some of those from Provident. Those are in the furnace in about 10 minutes. I've got 100 ounces of these in from SG Bullion, or SD Bullion. Good stuff. Yeah. Um, we showed a few of the things that I just finished polishing for the Bunker Bullion. I didn't talk much, but... I gotta sort my piece in Morgan dollars based on condition, so I may do that. Um, Mrs. Silver's out of town, so gives me a little bit of time to do some of those things. Verazzi, those sunbursts, man, those are special, bro. The temperature, I do all open air pouring, so it's got to be a clean pour with the right temperature differentiation. It's got a lot of stuff has got to go right for me to get those sun bursts. Um, but when I do, man, I maximize and, and I'll for sure let you know when I get those. Um, it's not really winter only. The bubble casting things is pretty much a winter season only uh, experiment. Um, no, it's not winter only, but it has seemed to be more of a spring and fall deal than a summer deal. Um, I, 
I wish I could master getting that effect. The only major pourers that I've seen get that effect over the years um, with any kind of consistency would be Inglehard. But even there, it's only about 10% of their products have that sunburst, uh, that final pucker in the cooling. Um, Jägermeister, and their flat bars, their 10 and 10 ounce flat type things, they really get that nice feel. Otherwise, we each get it sometimes. I've learned to recognize when it wants to do it and make it happen, but not always successful. It's tricky to do. So, back to these Scottsdale Silver. I wonder if they got the plastic on it. We can do a little live peel. Oh. Oh, no plastic cover on this one. These are my favorite 10 ounce, and it's because of that. I just love that rainbow, man. The way they machine these. <laughs> yes. God. Look at that. Has a real radial effect, which, boom, disperses that light. Check that out. That is so nice. On the backside, it's got that cool radial machining. Looks almost 3D. I like that it's all serialized. Such a nice, yeah, Mr. Olfang, shiny. I like my silver shiny. Always have. This one has the plastic on it, so let's do a peel. There it is, boom. Let's peel that plastic off. Boom, oh. Yes. So these are number 11 and 12. <laughs> God. Love these things. Uh, yeah, Luis on Apmex and this exact same machining and stuff um, is actually was done by the Academy Refiners Essayers um, a long time back. And Apmex has used them, and Silver, uh, Scottsdale Silver, um, purchased them. Oh man, see, to get this bar at Underspot. Uh, so my goal was 10 of those. This is number 11 and 12. These can't beat them. Let's sit there and look at these things all day. <laughs> yeah, man. That's the best 10 ouncer on the market, dudes. I would. Dang, I'd stand by that. I've not seen a better 10 ounce product or even close. It's just fantastic. Well done stuff. All right, so I got to put those in a baggie. I always bag my stuff no matter what it is because if and when it's ever sold, it's always going to sell when it looks better. A lot of people say it doesn't matter. I think it does. As a stacker, I'm always wanting the best visual look even in my generic stuff. So as a reseller, I always try to take care of my stuff. So into the 10 ounce box, those go, of those. All right, dudes, well, it's time for me to go to work. I need to uh, melt some of these things into more of some of these things. I had to take an early retirement from my career and uh, so I've been taking what has been a fun hobby for me and slowly turning that into a business. So if you would like some low mintage, beautiful handcrafted stuff, Bunker Bullion, 
check out one of my older videos or come back to this live stream and I'll leave a link there for you if you don't know where that is. I'm still working on the BunkerBullion.com website. It's uh, tricky. I need to get my new store software working. But in the meantime, I've got my Tasty Silver outlet. All right, that's it, dudes. I will have another set of videos probably dealing with the sorting of, I guess it's about 150 maybe, uh, silver dollars. Uh, coming later, I'll try to do an update. See ya, Steeler, thanks for coming in, bro. I'll try to do another update on uh, later, Verace. You're the best, bro. Uh, do another update on my gold. I've still hung on to that, waiting to make some money. All right, dude, so let's call it good. Thanks for stopping in. I can't believe it's been 45 minutes, but it has. SSG, take care. Thank you, Olfang. Thanks, Luis. Good to see you. Let me know if you need any help grabbing some of those Kit Kats. I've got a couple that would love to move in with you. All right, take care, everybody. We will see you again.